Congrats on being here again. What's it like being down here with the fans and being in Hall H? Oh, it's amazing. It's my first real time doing the Hall H thing. Yeah, last time, I mean, five years ago we did this, and it was like in a 2,000 person hall. Or whatever. And it, was, it was exciting because our show hadn't aired yet, so no one knew what the hell it was. And we were just like trying to promote it. And we were like, my face was on a bus. I'm like, oh, cool. You know, and it was, it's, it's just so great to finally be down here and meet, meet all the fans that, uh, that love the show. So, yeah, it was a really surreal moment walking out there on Hall H. Yeah. And the journey of Deke. I mean, there isn't uh, an episode or even a scene where we get to see so many sides to this character. You yeah. worry about him, and yet he can be a real jerk, and you, you bring so much humor to everything you do as well. Thank There's you. There's so many layers to every scene. How much love do you have for this character? Oh, my God. It's my favorite character I've ever done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I do, like, five more seasons of this. I love it. Yeah, it's... The character's interesting to me. I mean, it's, a, it's like a very gray area, you know, with him. It's not like, it's not black or white, which is, which is human nature, and it's just so much fun. Yeah, and they, and they let me do the comedy as well. So I definitely always push it a little bit. And they're, like, like, they're like, all right, come back to, to being grounded and like treating it like a drama, which it is. But, but uh, The Deep is just so, so nuanced and layered. It's fun to, they let us just go. So it's like the best time I've ever had. Yeah. And I've heard the other cast digs up everything you bring to it in terms of humor. They're laughing because of what you're doing even in the middle of fight scenes. People are getting laughed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I try, that's like, I like to tr try and crack people up and hear people in, the, in like Video Village like cracking up. Right. That's like my, I'm like, I got them. That's your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. asked this a hundred times, but in all seriousness, your love of like sea life and animal life. <laughs> what, what is that? What has this character done to you? That have you done more research? Have you been able to spend more time? You're probably always a compassionate guy, but has this brought even another level to you? I love dogs. That's my thing. I love animals. I don't think I'll ever eat octopus again, but sure. but you know that's that was like kind of a weird moment. But yeah, yeah. But I, you know, I still dabble in some, some sushi. You what, know. Are the, what are those scenes like actually with? Your octopus lover. It's how you shoot those and what those are like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very much. It feels like a very much like a one-man show, right? Like I, I have to go into it knowing or knowing what kind of level I want to bring energy-wise to the scenes. You're not going to be getting it back. I mean, it's used like a tennis match, right? So I'm like, I kind of want the scene to be like marriage story. You know what I mean? There's got to be a certain volume to it. And then there's like a, you know, just like a green X over there in the closet where the where the uh, tank's supposed to be. And there's like a guy off off camera re reading the lines. We get in a rhythm, but it's like very much like I gotta be okay. I know exactly what, how I want to respond, and how it makes me feel when they say that line, because you know you're not you're not getting that. But then right. for Tilda Swinton to do it is amazing, and like she completely changed the whole scene to hear it, you know, the way she did it, and like to see the CGI Ambrosius was so funny. No, no, I would love to. I'd love to say hey, thank you. Yeah, yeah. For, for coming and playing with us, it was just awesome. So. And then lastly, just how the season ended and what your hopes and dreams are for for what's next. To stay alive on season five. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's great to be able to go out on, on, go out on your own terms. You know what I mean? So uh, I have no idea what Krippy's cooking up. I, have no, I, I, don't, I haven't pitched any storylines. I don't know what he wants to do. But it's, uh, it's bittersweet that it's coming to an end. Yeah, we've had a good run. It's been, it's been quick. So I'm excited, yeah. There's never expanding the universe as well, so who knows? Who knows? You never know. You never know, man. Yeah. Right.